we are hiking today and I'm going to do a quick video on five tips for taking your kids hiking. So. I heard the words in your eyes Let go of what you see First tip, no expectations. It's, it's definitely, especially with little kids, don't expect them to walk a four mile hike. They will not. <laughs> Unless you have like super kids. Look, dad's always like me. I can walk a four mile hike. Mia, yeah, Mia's older, so she can walk. She would probably walk a four mile hike. Mackenzie is four, so she's probably two a miles. mile. Two miles. Probably a mile. Maybe two. And Marley is not a walker. She likes to be carried. So, she maybe walk like, how, how much do you think, Dad? Like a minute? She'd probably walk how much? Like 50 feet? Maybe, maybe less. <laughs> yeah, 50 feet or less maybe. before her tummy hurts and she wants to be carried for the rest of the whole walk. <laughs> Tummy's going to be hurting right after we've been yep. here. Right, as we finish, our, start our walk. She'll be like, her tummy's going to hurt and I'm going to have to carry her. So, I, that leads us to our, uh, my second tip. Be prepared. So I know that Marley is not a walker, so I bring my ergo because I know she's one of will be carried, and uh, we are not carrying her. She's like 28, 29 pounds. She's little, so she's not that heavy. She's but old. if we're gonna go on a a mile hike, I, I definitely will be carrying her for a mile in my arms. So it's easier to do her do it on my back. Miette is the epitome of being prepared right now. Yeah. Come over here. Let me see. I'm going to show you. What do you have on your body? Um, How are you prepared today? Band-Aids. I made this at Girl Scouts. She made this at Girl Scouts yesterday. It's like a hobo bag. Show how it works. Put it up. And then it's a bandana. Bandana and then have and a the hole. It has a hole. So Got the other band-aid. <laughs> other bandana. Somebody's arm is broken and... Um, two band-aids. I think the other one's... There's some band-aids, so a little first aid kit just in case. This is really cute. She sewed this, so she sewed the bottoms of the bandana. And then it has two rings, it has a carabiner to attach. And it has the same pockets, and you close this ring, and it closes the pocket. And then pull it up, and it opens the little pocket on the side, that, and she sewed the bottom. And then what else do you have on you? To show that you're prepared. This, um, holds water? What is it called? A bag. A canteen. A canteen. She just bought this canteen with her allowance money. And <laughs> off Amazon. So this is the first trek with her canteen. Yeah. We're eating before we head out. <laughs> Eat before you yes. hike. Eat before you hike. So the complaints are left. No, your fauna and flora. I think that's pretty cool. I'm actually, I, we're working on that. Nah, so, right study up on, know your area, know what kind of trees and stuff are around you, what kind of plants, what kind of animals. That way you can do like some fun facts on your trail of what kinds, like a lot of trails, at least around where I live, they have like little um, informational, what would you call them? Um, little, what? little info plaques on yeah saying what kind of tree it is and some characteristics of the tree. So those are always fun to watch out for on our hikes. And we read them. We always read them. We're going to see some other animals. And you can take some of those easy field guides, the brochures that camp stores usually sell. They're like laminated and they're little brochures with local plants. She sees, she says she wants and everything she wants. I see she gets. That's my daughter in the water. Everything she.
she owns I bought her Everything she owns And that's my daughter in the water Everything she knows I taught her Everything she knows Everything I say She takes to heart Everything She takes She takes apart That's my daughter in the water Every time she fell I caught her I'm holding middle stinker Where are you? Oh, see. <laughs> I'm holding this one And there I go Daddy's holding that one I think we've hiked what? Like 0.5 miles. <laughs> and they're done. <laughs> the one yet is she's checking along across there. We were just in the woods, but now we've got this nice cornfield. I think I read that Belle Isle is the only park that allows a farmer to plant on their ground. So it's pretty cool. That's then. It's very into alien abductions and uh, conspiracy theories. And he has a little uh, fun fact for you. What is that, Ed? That alien abductions happen more in national state parks than anywhere else, at least in the United States. Just stay safe from these aliens <laughs> that like to abduct us. <laughs> could be just illegal Apparently. aliens. <laughs> Apparently there's aliens taking everybody from the park, so. <laughs> I forgot about my last number five tip. It's an incentive, which we have not used on this walk. Um, but a good tip is to bring like a little pack of Tic Tacs or Mentos or mints, or anything. My husband carries, um, what are they? Uh, like little strawberry, strawberry mints in his pocket. Everywhere he goes, it's always in his pocket. So, if you have like a last little bit to walk, and your little kids are whining and crying, you'd be like, well, if you get to this spot, you can have a piece of candy or mint. Huh. Don't sit I should have done that. <laughs> that spit uh, on Daddy's head. So that's a good trick to have up your sleeve to get your kids to go that last little extra bit.